Hello everybody, my name is Rohit Ishpande, and in this video, I just want to introduce uh, this, con this algorithm that we can use called Naive Bayes, and I'm going to kind of be discussing it over the next few videos. We'll, um, in, in this particular video, I'm going to write down and explain the actual equation that we use, and we'll look at how we can do a concrete example um, and see how Naive Bayes works there, and then I have some other uh, just kind of wrap-up stuff to, to discuss uh, Naive Bayes. And so, like we were mentioning with, with textual data, we have to have some kind of numeric representation for it, and we want to learn some information uh, about whether or not for, we're going to be using uh, spam detection, for example, for, for this sequence, because it's a nice example. Um, it, it, the equation turns out to be fairly simple and, and easy, to, easy to understand. It's pretty intuitive, so we're going to stick with this notion of, uh, of, of spam filtering or spam detection. So spam filtering or detection, and so the uh, so so what's naive Bayes and and with spam filtering, it's kind of logical to assume that spam messages, you know, tend to have words in more have a different uh, word distribution than messages that are that are not spam. What I mean by this is, like for example, one example we'll look at is, is the word free. Or something, right? So the word free is probably going to be more common in spam messages that are advertising like free money or free something or the other. So, for example, like the word free is more associated with, with spam uh, messages than it is with ham or not spam uh, messages. And so we can use that, we can learn these probabilities, and so we can use that to better assess given an input image or given an input uh, text, I should say, given an input text. We can determine uh, whether it's spam or not based on the words uh, that are in that in that email. So let me write down the equation. So naive base centers around uh, this thing in probability and actually many fields uh, called Bayes theorem. And so let me uh, write it down. I'm going to write it down first, and then I'm going to discuss it uh, intuitively. It might seem a little scary at first, but each part intuitively uh, makes sense that you'll see. So. Uh, the probability that a, a message is spam, knowing that we have some word w in it, is equal to the probability of finding that same word w in a spam message times the probability that we actually have a spam message, all divided by the same thing up here, the probability of finding that word in a spam message times the probability that the message is spam to begin with, plus the probability of finding that word in something that is uh, not spam, and this symbol, by the way, just means not, um, times the probability that a message is not spam. So this seems kind of big and, and tedious, but but I just want to, um, uh, we'll kind of go through it uh, in, in part. And so uh, I should mention that the, these P's, by the way, the, this means probability, and you can you know intuitively think of probability as like chances or odds. Like you know if I if I roll a die if I six if I roll a six sided uh, a, a die, then what are, what is the probability that it lands on a five? Well, it's just one out of six because I have one outcome that I want, which is landing on uh, with a five side up, and there's six possible outcomes. And so intuitively, this is also uh, something that. Uh, is a probability. So here's the outcome, and then here are all possible outcomes. And so that you can kind of intuitively think of this as being, you know, a probability. But that's what the, just the P is mean. It's in probability. You might see it as capital P or P, uh, capital P, lowercase r. I'm just going to write it like this. So, and, and this bar means given. And what, what I mean by given is that this is a conditional probability because it, it depends on what word that we know here. So anyway, I just want to kind of go through this. Uh, intuitively, this seems a little scary at first, but let, let's uh, get through this. So this first term here, w this is what we want to find. We want to know what is the probability that this message that we received is spam, given that it has some word uh, W in it. Maybe I should make this uh, rule. So this is spam. This is ham or not spam. And W then is just a word, any word. So, so this is let me let me get back here. So this is a probability that 
and that their input message is spam given that it has some word in it. And this is equal to the probability that we find that word in a spam message times the probability, this probability s means, or what's the probability that this message is even spam to begin with? So we can have like general statistics as to you know what percent of input email that or what percent of email that you get is spam versus ham. And so this is the probability that there's any input email that you get to begin with is spam or not. And this is if it is not spam. And so probably what's gonna happen, we're also gonna see what happens you know, in practice is that this is whoops, that this is actually pretty high. The probability that in any input you probably you probably get more spam than you do uh, ham messages, so expect this to be kind of uh, close to close to well, a one. And so anyway, this is the probability that we find a word in that a spam message, and this is like what I mentioned with the word free. We expect you know the word free to be found. It's more likely to find that word in a spam message than a ham message, and so this is what the, this top quantity kind of looks at is uh, what are the odds of finding so this word w in a spam message. And then we divide by this sum, uh, which is all possible outcomes. The possible outcome is that this word uh, is, is in a spam message on probability of spam. But then there's also a, maybe a smaller likelihood that this word is, we want to also know like what are the odds of finding this word in a message that's uh, not spam. And so we, by, we can look at uh, a word and see you know, is it more likely to fall into a spam message or is it more likely to fall into a not spam message? And so we can make a determination based on which of those two outcomes has a higher probability. So if the probability that, um, you know, if this alpha probability is, uh, you know, if we find that it's more likely to be a spam message, then we're going to assign it to be a spam message. And so, you know, that's how we can make a, a determination. And uh, I, I'm, we're going to go through an example, a more concrete example of this. But intuitively, this is like saying that the probability of a spam message with some given word is the likelihood, first of all, that we have a spam message uh, to begin with times the probability of that word being in a spam message divided by the probability that we actually encounter this word in the first place. And that's what this is trying to say. So this is a word given that it's in spam and then times probability of spam plus the word is in not spam, so there are the only two outcomes, right? Either the word is in a spam message or it's not in a spam message, and so this is what this is trying to account for. And then we're trying to find the probability that this is in a spam message. So if this is high, that what does that mean? That means that the probability that this input uh, email is spam given this word is in it means that this email is probably spam. And so that's kind of, um, I'm going to stop right here because I, I don't want to complicate this further. We're actually going to go through an example of this in the, in the next video, um, but I'm going to stop right here and just kind of re-explain this uh, one more time. So Naive Bayes centers around this principle of, of Bayes' theorem, and intuitively I, I can see what this is. What we want to find is the probability that any input email is spam, given that it has some word in it. And we said that that's a logical assumption to make because there are a lot of, you know, we look at the content of an email to determine whether it's it's spam or ham. And so we want to say that what the probability of finding, you know, probability that this is a spam message given that it has a word in it, a particular word W in it. Um, and so that's equal to the probability that this word appears in spam messages times the overall probability that we even get uh, spam messages to begin with. And then this bottom is kind of, like I said, separating this into two parts where, you know, this is W in spam, and this is W in uh, ham or not spam messages. So these, are, so these are like kind of the two things, uh, outcomes that we can get for, for W. And this is kind of like, a, uh, it's also commonly called our, our evidence. Basically, you know, so that's what we're trying. So we can find all of these numbers based on our data. Like we can look at each word in our, uh, um, on all the emails in our training data and see, you know, what's the likelihood that this is in a spam message? What's, you know, oh, hey, I found this word uh, in, in all these spam messages this many times. And then I can, 
you know, figure out these probabilities. So all these things I can calculate from my data set and then give it a new input image or a new input text document, I should say. I can determine, I can compute this probability, and if it's super high, then I know that this message is spam. So I'm going to stop right here, and in, um, in, in the next video, I'm actually going to go through a more concrete uh, example so that we can, um, we can understand this a bit better.